Installing Windows in UEFI mode from a partition can be pretty tricky, but you're gonna want to do this if you're not having any suitable removable media to flash the ISO on. I mean, uh, no functional USB drive or um, too small USB drive, so you can do it from partition, but it's kinda hard. I'll explain you why. We're gonna begin the proceedings. So I'm gonna launch Gparted here if I can find it. I'm gonna launch it from the terminal. Yeah. Need sudo for that. Figured it would ask it, it would ask for it automatically. So let's consider this drive where you want to install Windows on. So, um, gotta check first. All right, uh, the I'm gonna use a Windows 10 ISO. Uh, it's four gigabytes, so I'm gonna make a partition in five megabytes. So at first, I'm gonna create a partition table, a GPT partition table, and I'm gonna make a five gigs partition. So what format should we use? Um, the problem with this ISO is that uh, there's a file in it called install.wim that is more uh, than 4 gigabytes. So uh, that's quite of a problem because usually when you're gonna boot uh, an EFA, uh, an EFI file you're gonna use a FAT32 partition because uh, most motherboard firmwares only have drivers to boot EFI files from uh, FAT32 partitions. But since the Windows installation media has a file that won't fit on a FAT32 partition, we're gonna have to use NTFS. So we're gonna create a NTFS partition right now like that and create it all right now what you're gonna what we're gonna do is pretty simple we're gonna copy all of this if i can access it from uh my file manager all right i can mount it as uh, a single user so i'm gonna mount it as root Alright, so we have our partition mounted, so now we're just gonna copy everything from uh, the ISO. I already mounted the ISO elsewhere, so I'm just gonna do a CP media W10 ISO and everything in there we want it in the NTFS partition so I'm just gonna uh, it was pretty fast yeah I did not copy it recursively Alright, so we are through copying the file here. As you can see, um, it's uh, where I mounted the NTFS partition. And you can see the, US, uh, the UFI file you're gonna want to boot here. Alright, but you're probably not gonna be able to do this. Uh, as I explained earlier, your motherboard probably has a firmware that can't boot EFI files from NTFS partitions. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a driver from UFI to boot NTFS partitions from UFI from the Rufus project. Uh, that's what Rufus does automatically when you use it to create a bootable Windows installation flash drive but since Rufus doesn't do this for um, 
partitions on removable drives we can't use it to do that so we're gonna have to do it manually I'm gonna put the link in the description of the video but uh, you can get the driver here so it's an IMG file it's an image of a FAT32 partition so the type of partition um, a a uh, f motherboard firmware, a common motherboard firmware can boot from in UFI mode. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy it to a partition we're gonna make right now. So you make a FAT32 partition at the smallest size possible because it's only uh, 262 kilobytes. So the minimum size is enough. All right, you're gonna create this one. See here now it's dev sdb2. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna flash it to the partition we just created. So in order to do that, we're gonna do the command dd. We're gonna specify the path of the mg file we just downloaded. See it's here. We're gonna specify the partition, so it's dev sdb2 in my case. Alright, so it's already done since it's a fairly small file. So we're gonna check it. We're gonna make a new mount point. Here. So as you can see, there is a EFI slash boot folder here with a free EFI file. So the one you're going to be interested in is bootx64.efi. So now what we have to do is adding a an EFI boot manager entry so you can boot it from your BIOS. So here we're gonna do just this using this command create on drive dev sdb on the second partition we're gonna use the label windows 10 installation and we're gonna specify the location of the F of the EFA EFI file, so it's uh, you're gonna you're gonna use underscores for this. So it's slash EFI backslash I meant backslash not underscores backslash boot, and we're gonna sorry boot x64 dot EFI. All right. So once this once this is done, you're gonna check first with EFI Boot Manager dash V. All right. So you can see it there. So now that we're through with all this, we can just shut down uh, your live CD or your distro or whatever. And once your computer shut down, you're gonna access your BIOS boot and see if there's a Windows 10 installation entry and you can boot on it. See, it's loading the Windows 10 installation menu. So then you can proceed installing Windows in, uh, in EFI mode. Uh, I'm not gonna detail this process, that's something you already should know about uh, you're gonna be able to make partitions you can remove the NTFS and the FAT32 partitions you created afterwards after the installation because it's still gonna fetch uh, the installation files from the NTFS partition you created so you're gonna be able to uh, remove it after Windows in is installed alright I hope this video has been helpful